Welcome back everyone to this channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn integration. And here, we will be evaluating indefinite integrals. And if this is your first time of joining us, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like this video and as well share to your friends and your classmates. We'll begin the subject of integration with the standard integrals. Now, this is the first standard integral or the general integration principle. If I integrate x to the power of n, the rule says that it is equal to x to the power of n plus 1 divided by the same n plus 1. And since the integral is indefinite, I will add a constant to it. How do I know if an integral is definite or indefinite? As far as the integral has no upper and lower limit, the integral is indefinite. And this is what I mean by upper and lower limit. For example, the integral of x from 0 to 1. This integral is definite because of this lower and upper limit. But for this, it is indefinite because it has no upper or lower limit. How do we apply this principle to solve questions? Now, let's see some questions. I want to integrate x to the power of 6 with respect to x. That's what this dx stands for. Going by this principle, it will be x to the power of 6 plus 1 divided by what? 6 plus 1 plus arbitrary constant c. Alright? 6 plus 1 is 7. So x to the power of 7 all over 7 plus c. This gives us the indefinite integral of x to the power of 6 dx. Okay, let's check number 2. The integral of minus 3x to the power of minus 5 dx. Now, minus 3 is a constant. So I can bring minus 3 out. Then write it as the integral of x to the power of minus 5 dx. So the rule that we applied here will also work here. This is minus 3. Then I can put in brackets x to the power of minus 5 plus 1. I'm integrating right now. All over what? Minus 5 plus 1 plus the arbitrary constant c. Okay. So what is this now equal to? Minus 3. Minus 5 plus 1 is minus 4. x to the power of minus 4. Divided by what? Minus 4 plus c. Good. So, minus can cancel minus. I will now have 3x to the power of minus 4 all over 4 plus arbitrary constant c. So, this gives us the indefinite integral of minus 3x to the power of minus 5 dx. Now, what is the integral of 8 dx? Okay, 8 is a constant. Of course, 8 is a constant. So, to integrate 8 dx, I can actually write integral of 8 dx as integral of 8x to the power of 0 dx. Of course, I can do that because x to the power of 0 is 1. So, this is simply 8x to the power of 0 plus 1. I'm integrating. Divided by what? 0 plus 1 plus C. 8. 0 plus 1 is 1, which is the same thing as saying x to the power of 1 or x. 0 plus 1 is still 1. So 8x over 1 is still 8x plus C. So what now is the integral of minus 2 all over x to the power of 3 dx? The integral of minus 2 all over x cubed dx can be written as this. Minus 2x to the power of minus 3 dx. Alright. So the principle of integration will be applied. That is minus 2x to the power of minus 3 add 1. Minus 3 add 1 plus c. Okay. So uh, this is minus 2 x to the power of minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2. 
minus 3 plus 1 is also minus 2. And so minus 2 cancels minus 2. What's left is x to the power of minus 2. And x to the power of minus 2 can be written as 1 all over x squared plus c. So this gives us the indefinite integral of minus 2 all over x cubed dx. Alright, this is the second standard integral we are going to consider. The integral of 1 over x dx. Now, check this very well. At the numerator, I have 1. At the denominator, I have x. If I differentiate x, which is at the denominator, what will I get? I will get 1. So, the standard integral says that if the derivative of the denominator is what is in the numerator, then I will write the integral as lean x plus c. So, take note. If the derivative of what is below is equal to what is above, then the integral is the logarithm to base e of x plus c. This lean x can actually be written as log x to base e. They are the same thing. So how do we apply this to solve questions? Question 1. What is the integral of 2x plus 3 all over x squared plus 3x minus 5? With respect to x. Okay, now let me look very well. What is here x squared plus 3x minus 5? If I differentiate this denominator, it's going to give me this numerator. Differentiate x squared, that's 2x. Differentiate 3x, that's 3. Differentiate minus 5, that's 0. So the derivative of this is what is here. That means the integral is equal to lean x squared plus 3x minus 5 plus the arbitrary constant. That's all. I want to integrate 3x squared all over x cubed minus 4 with respect to x. Alright, at the denominator, it is x cubed minus 4. And at the numerator, it is 3x squared. Differentiating x cubed minus 4 will produce 3x squared minus 0, which is 3x squared. Differentiate x cubed to get 3x squared. Differentiate 4 to get 0. So that means, if I differentiate what is here, I will get what is above. So the integral is simply equal to lean x cubed minus 4 plus c. What is the integral of sec squared x all over tan x with respect to x? Now, if I differentiate tan x, I'm going to obtain sec squared x. That is to say, the derivative of what is at the denominator is what is the numerator. That means, the integral is equal to lean tan x plus c. Check the last one. Integral of 4x squared over x cubed minus 7 dx. Okay, if I differentiate x cubed, I will get 3x squared. Differentiate minus 7, I will get 0. Okay, this is what we are saying. Differentiate x cubed. That's differentiate x cubed to obtain 3x squared. Now... What is at the numerator is 4x squared, not 3x squared. So this is what I want to do. That 4, I will bring it out. That is 4 integral x squared all over x cubed minus 7 dx. Good. Since the derivative of what is here is 3x squared, like we said earlier, what I'll do now is to multiply both up and down by 3. This is it. 4 integral. Multiply this by 3. 3x squared. All over. Multiply this by 3. That will be 3 times x cubed minus 7 dx. Good. So having done this, what will I do now? This 3, I can actually bring it out. So, what my integral will be equal to now is this. 
4 which is here all over this 3 which I'm, which I'm bringing out times the integral of 3x squared divided by what? x cubed minus 7 dx that means if I integrate x cubed minus 7 I'm going to obtain 3x squared straight ahead so you see the manipulation I did is a simple and interesting manipulation so in integration you have to get used to some uh, skills this is now 4 all over 3 lean x cubed minus 7 plus c since the derivative of this is what is here so I will take the logarithm to base e of this then plus the arbitrary constant c this is the next standard integral the integral of e to the power of x it is e to the power of x plus c also e to the power of kx it is e to the power of kx all over k plus c the difference between these two integrals is that this one has a k but this one also has a k just that the k here is 1 so for all other k's apart from 1 we can make use of this but if the k is 1 no need to put it there since if the quotient of a number is 1 we don't put it down just write it the way it is so let's apply that integral to solve this very question we said that the integral of e to the power of x dx is still e to the power of x then plus c the integral of e to the power of 4x dx going by this um, principle will now be e to the power of 4x all over 4 plus c now how do we handle this very problem well this very um, integral can be evaluated using integration by substitution and that video will come up after this but the way to do this let me show you a short way to do this the integral of this is equal to e as we have e to the power of 5x plus 4 all over differentiate 5x plus 4 what will it be differentiate 5x to get 5 differentiate 4 to get 0 so if I differentiate 5x plus 4 it is 5 plus 0 which is 5 I will put down that 5 plus c so this is how to integrate functions like this the last one here the integral of e to the power of minus 54p dp okay this one is with respect to p not x the same thing just that the variables changed so the principle will still apply a exponential minus 54 p all of our what minus 54 plus c so that's all for exponential functions this is the next standard integral that we will consider integral of a to the power of x dx in this case here a is a number okay so the integral says it is a to the power of x all over lean a plus c now we can also have the integral in this format integral of a to the power of kx the difference between this first and the second one is that the x here has a coefficient of k although there is a coefficient of x here but the coefficient of x here is 1 so if it is not 1 we can use this that's the point now what is the integral of 3 to the power of x dx going by this principle this first one it will now be 3 to the power of x all over what lean 3 plus c what will now be the integral of 3 to the power of 5x dx so if i'm to go by this second principle which is a very short way to obtain the integral of this very function it will simply be 3 to the power of 5x all over this 5 times lean 3 plus c all right this is the last set of standard integrals that we'll consider and they are trigonometric 
Okay, the integral of sin x dx is minus cos x plus c. As well, the integral of sine ax dx is minus cos ax all over a plus c. The difference between this and this is that this one has a coefficient that is a. In the case where the coefficient of x here is 1, we use this as the integral. But when it is not 1, then we use this one. Now, the integral of cos x dx is sin x plus c, and the integral of cos ax dx is sin ax all over a plus c. As well, integrate x squared x with respect to x, it is tan x plus c. And the integral of sec squared kx dx is tan kx over k plus c. So take note of these standard integrals. So let's handle some questions under this aspect. Going by the first rule for sine ax, the integral of sine minus 4x dx will be minus cos. In this case, our a here is minus 4. So it will now be minus cos minus 4x all over a, which is minus 4 plus c. And minus can cancel minus. So what do we have now? The integral is now equal to cos minus 4x all over 4 plus what? C. That's all. So what is the integral of sec squared 3x dx? Based on this uh, principle for this sec squared kx dx, it will now be tan, here our k is 3, tan 3x all over what? 3 plus C. Okay, now the last one. Cos 1 over 4x, that's 1 quarter of x. So what is it equal to? Based on the standard integrals that we have, in this case, using this um, fourth integral, cos ax dx is sine ax over a. So this will be equal to sine 1 over 4x all over what? 1 over 4 plus c. Now let's break this down. Let's simplify this. This is the same thing as saying sine 1 over 4x divided by 1 over 4 then plus c. Okay. This division sign will turn to multiplication and if that is done, it will now be sine 1 over 4x times 4 over 1 plus c. So 4 times this is the same thing as 4 sine 1 over 4x plus c. So this is the integral of cos 1 over 4x dx. So I will see you in the next video that talks about integration by substitution. Subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share this video to your friends and your classmates. Very important. I will see you in the next one.